Hey y'all, Short Bear here with another Code Wars challenge. This is a level eight and we're doing it in Python and this is total pressure calculation. Uh, so this one looks pretty tricky. Uh, just staring at the math formula, it can look kind of intimidating, uh, but my hunch is uh, they're giving us all of the values that we're gonna need uh, for any of the conversions and whatnot. And so I think uh, the way we can do this is just uh, follow the formula as much as possible uh, and I imagine a lot of these are going to be parameters that we pass into it. So without kind of diving into the formula too much, let's just go ahead and see what we're given here. All right, sure enough, molar mass one, molar mass two, given mass, given mass, uh, volume, and temperature. So basically everything we need here to get this to work. Uh, so we have P pressure total. Uh, so I think the given mass uh, is the lowercase m's here. And let's see if that's specified anywhere, I think kind of right here, their mass is present. So kind of probably the same thing here. Okay, so it looks like we need to add uh, given mass one over molar mass one. And so those need to, we need to add up uh, given mass two over molar mass two Okay, and so I wish I had good variable names here to call like the parts of the function because I want to break this up into different sections. Uh, but uh, knowing, being familiar with these terms, it's been a been a hot minute since I've had physics. Uh, so maybe we'll just call this the numerator, and we'll set that equal to uh, whatever r times t is. And I think t uh, is the temp that we're given here. We got that part taken care of. And then R is hopefully a constant. Let's see. So R is 0.82, eight, uh, something, something, decameter. I don't know. Man, it's been so long. Probably need to go brain up on uh, physics here. I uh, Hopefully we can just multiply it times this and see what that uh, gets us. So that's, a, that's our numerator. And the denominator is going to be the volume which is uh, another number that's given in our function here. So let's return numerator divided by volume. Let's see if this works. Probably gonna be wrong. Sure enough. Okay, uh, should be close to 11.05, should be close to 7.14. So yeah, it looks like uh, I'm off by a good bit uh, on these values. Okay, so back to the instructions. All right, so remember temperature is given in Celsius while the SI unit is Kelvin. Okay, tricky son of a gun here. Okay, so zero degrees Celsius is 273. So it looks like we just add these two. Okay, so temp Kelvin is equal to the constant plus temp. And then here, we need to swap out our variable temp Kelvin. Okay, let's test that out. All right, that looks, that looks good. Let's try another full submission here. And got another one done. Great job. 